Hello dear friends, welcome back to your channel, The Knowledge Hub. So dear students, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a book review for a pedagogy subject. Now this project file is for uh, reading and reflecting on text. This is also called the library file. So we are now going to start the book review. The subject for today is pedagogy of English language. Sometimes it's also written as pedagogy of English language and literature, but it, it's all the same. So for this book here, the authors are Dr. R. A. Sharma and Shikha Chaturvedi. The publisher is International Publishing House, Mirat. And we have 506 pages in the book with six units and at the rate of 350. Keep in mind, this is specifically for those who have the subject pedagogy of English language. It's not a core course, but rather for pedagogies. So we have a brief introduction about the authors and then we have a preface here. Now in a preface, it's about the book, an introduction about the book. And uh, we're going to also get a brief, uh, like a subtitling, what this book really contains. Now, in the beginning, it says that English is one of the major language of the world. It is most widely used, okay? And then, you see, this is true. English is used all over the world. It's most widely used. In India, it is often neglected, but it's at our own risk. So, you see, according to a quote from Nehru, see, it is impossible to disagree with Nehru's observation that English has become one of the major languages of the world and Indians can neglect it but at their own risk. So uh, no matter how much we try to avoid it, no matter how much we try to run away from it, we still land in it. So uh, from my side, I would say that don't run away from English. English is not a tough language. It's really a very easy language. Just uh, put in some courage there. Give it some time and seriously, you'll see it's quite an easy language. So after the preface, let's quickly look at the contents of this book. Uh, background study to the study of English, the content and pedagogical analysis, methods of teaching and skills of teaching, unit and lesson planning, teaching aids and textbooks, evaluation in English. So this book contains six units and then we have a summary of the units. As I have shown in my other videos of book reviews, we always give a summary of the units because we can't write the whole unit here. It's a book review. We just have to give the important points that are taught in that unit. Okay? And then we have a review. A 